Welcome back guys. In this episode, we will start working on the form to add a menu item to a particular category. So let's get started. Inside our view components, we need to go into the menu add form and start adding the templates. So I'll first do that and then we can take it up from there. Okay, so here is my basic template. So I have this add form wrapper inside that I have a form. So on submit, I am saying that it should not prevent the form submit. So the basically the page will not refresh. Now, initially we will need to add this method. So inside view, I'll add this method. Okay, I'll show you why we need to write this dot prevent in a bit uh, now once we go through all these items so then you know i have some basic bootstrap code which is a form group which has a label and then it has an input text field where um, i want the user to type in the name of the menu item and i'm storing that as v model food dot item okay so i need to first create a data object so the data function which returns an object and in that I'll have food as an object in itself and have an item property which is blank okay so this is taken care of then I'll use multi select okay to show a drop down of in which of you know the categories so that the user can select in which particular category this new food item will go into so i have v model food dot category i'll use this again an empty string and if you see i am storing options so i'm assigning categories to this option which means i need the category from my parent component so if we look at our view component structures i have my menu container which has data categories right so i would like to um, send that inside my you know, this particular card component okay so let's do that i'll <clears throat> have this component take a prop which is category okay now what i'm able to understand is that i haven't added this component in, in here so import okay i have this i'll let view know that i have this you know, component and then Sorry, that will be categories, right? So categories it will equal to categories, right? That's fine. And in here, this is fine. So let's see if we are able to get. First of all, our second card component has the menu add form, and it has categories as props, which will mean my drop down should have. Come okay, it will not because I haven't imported it. So, import. Why don't we steal some of the things from here? And again, I'll ne need to let view know that I'm importing this component. So, pull it down a bit, and we have our drop down ready, right? so this form group is com complete i have a v model which is food dot category i have and i mentioned it as an empty string then i have food dot price which is a numeric field so i'll need to initialize it let's say it is 100 by default okay and with that done i think we have everything in place why don't we 
um, the form submit is being handled by this function, right? Handle submit. So why don't we go here and do a console dot console log form data this dot food. Okay, and let's hit refresh. Same thing. Category, and I'll hit the save button. It says form data. It's a view object which has observers. But yeah, you can see I have the item, which is something. I have the category, which is chicken main course. Now, why do we need the prevent? Okay, so right now, if you see, if I click on this save button, okay, it does a console log, but nothing is happening to the page, right? Which means the page is not getting refreshed on form submit. But if I remove this, and then if I try to do anything fancy, you see the form is being submitted. Now it is a regular HTML form, and we are not doing anything to prevent it. So it is very much um, like if I remove prevent and in here I do I think it was prevent dot prevent default something like that I think now it should work yeah so you can see I still have the form data this will be empty this will be empty but the price will be 100 but now I have to write event dot prevent default every time right this is uh, very verbose or Rather, this is very, um, you know, unscientific, I would say, because then I'll have to do a prevent default on every function. So what I can do is just, you know, as a Vue.js goodie, I can say dot prevent, and we are done, right? So let's hit refresh and check. I'll add something because right now the form is not getting submitted anyways. So we do that, and we are getting the console. All right, so with this, now our basic form is ready. In the next video, we are going to look at how we do Laravel validation and you know have our form submit to a post URL and we start creating the menu item. So thanks for watching guys. If you like the video, do click on the thumbs up icon and don't forget to subscribe to my channel.